Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Calculator Techniques. In this video, we will discuss all about multiple integral. This topic is very important, especially when you are planning to take an engineering board examination. Some of examinees get confused in solving multiple integration. Watch this video until the end because we will solve different problems with the same approach. We will proceed to problem number one. People weight the double integral of x y squared dy dx with limits from 0 to 1 and from negative 3 to 2. There are four choices a, b, c, and d. First thing you have to do is to rearrange the given equation. In order to rearrange the given equation, we will consider the given d variable, the dy and the dx, and the two integral signs. Some of you get confused which limit is for dy and which limit is for dx. So here guys, you have to take the d variable from left to right and integral sign from right to left. So the first d variable here is dy and the second is dx. And the first integral sign is having a limit from 0 to 1 and the second is having from negative 3 to 2. So therefore guys, the limit of dy is from 0 to 1 and dx is from negative 3 to 2. So we can now arrange guys. Integral of y square dy with limits from 0 to 1 multiplied by integral of x dx with limits from negative 3 to 2. Okay guys, so we can now solve using our scientific calculator. Your calculator must be in general calculations or mode 1 and degree mode. So we will set our calculator to mode 1. Just press mode button and select 1. Then for degree mode, just press shift button, then mode button and select 3 for degree mode. Okay, we are all set now. So we will enter the new equation to our calculator. Okay, so press integral sign alpha x. Here we will use x as calculator won't solve integration with multiple variables. So x, then press x squared, move to lower limit and enter 0, move to lower uh, to upper limit and enter 1. And now move your cursor to next, then integral sign alpha x, move to lower limit, then enter negative 3, move to upper limit and enter 2, then press equal. Okay, so the answer guys is letter D, negative 5 over 6. Okay guys, so that's all for example or problem number 1. We will proceed to example number 2. Evaluate the double integral of x sine y dy dx with limit from 0 to pi and from 0 to 1. The same approach to example number 1 we have to rearrange the given equation. Take the first d variable which is dy and the second is dx. Up on first integral sign with limit from 0 to pi and the second integral sign having limit from 0 to 1. Therefore, integral of sine y dy has limit from 0 to pi 
an integral of x dx has a limit from 0 to 1. So, the new equation, guys, is integral of sine y dy with limit from 0 to 5 multiplied by integral of x dx with limit from 0 to 1. Now, we will solve the new equation using our scientific calculator. Remember that when you are solving integration with trigonometric functions, your calculator must be in region mode. Otherwise, you will get a different answer. We will set our calculator to region mode. Just press shift, then mode, then select 4 for region mode. Okay, guys. Enter the new equation. Integral sine. Sine alpha x. Close parenthesis. Move to lower limit and enter 0. Move to upper limit. Then shift 5. Move to the next. Then integral sine alpha x. Move to lower limit. Then enter 0. Move to upper limit. Then enter 1. Then press equal. The answer is 1, which is letter A from the choices. Okay, guys. So that's all for example number 2.